I'm sure many of you um, have had websites or some sort of web page where you like to have a form created where basically a user can submit, uh, type in information, have it submit to your email address. And if you Google it and you know try to find some, there's quite a few out there, some of which are overly complicated. And what I'm going to go ahead and do right now is I'm going to show um, just a, a basic email form where you can input data and have it emailed you to directly. I'm going to show you an example of what it's going to look like. And this can all be um, customized and so forth. God, if I can just freaking type right. Okay. Anyway, so this would basically be my home page right here. And I go to the movies. Basically, a listing of all the movies I have in my collection. Say someone wants to request a movie. So they can say, uh, my name's CJ, and I want to see, what's the name of a movie? Porky's. I don't know how that's spelled. I think that's right. And you basically submit request, and it'll redirect you to a page where it's, thank you for your request, click here to return your home page. And bam, I'm back. And if you check your email, it'll probably go to your spam bucket, depending on which client you use. And I have my peer guardian running right now, so it's going a little slow. But you'll see right here, it says uh, my name right here, and title movie request, and there's my movie request. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. It's really easy. Um, you just need some basic HTML knowledge, and you're going to be end up using some PHP, but you really don't need to have any knowledge of it. Though it's going to be two separate files. It's going to be, of course, your HTML home page or whichever page, and it's going to be calling a PHP page. You need access to your um, your web hosting, whether um, whether it be through P, uh, FTP, a uh, web-based client, whatever. So let me click next to this hosting here, and navigate to the directory that my web page is in. This one right here. And that'll be actually let me create a new folder. I cannot type today, I swear to god. Okay. So we're gonna go to video listing.htm, which is the this page right here. And I'm also gonna transfer over the movie request or movie request PHP. That's the script that we're calling that's going to perform the actions necessary to submit the email. So first thing let's go and look at the PHP script. Uh this is basically going to be a script right here. It's, it's the generic HTML page, but it just has some PHP coding in here. So we're going to, when you create the document, to create a PHP document, really all you need to do is preface it like an HTML document. You have your, God, I cannot type today. Body, and this is where we want to uh, put in the PHP script. So let me just go ahead and close this off. And we can go up there. And then we're going to need the PHP script, which will look like this. Generally, uh, PHP scripts are prefaced with a question mark PHP, then the content, and then another question mark to end it. So right now we have um, the to field. This will specify your email address, whichever email address you want the the form to submit the data to. So let me go ahead and space this out a little bit, make this a little larger maybe. Okay. So we are going to preface with the PHP dollar sign two equals then the email address the semicolon and subject which if we go to my email that I got you'll see movie request which was the subject for uh, this PHP form so this will show whenever you get the email it'll show in the subject field email this will this is uh, an actual field so this from field is basically going to be the email field and uh, let's see here message this will be the message field so that's going to be tagged as dollar sign message header. It'll say from, and then it's going to put the requestee's name in here. So it's going to be from email, which will be this field. Okay, and it's going to send it to you. Um, if it sends the send is successful, it's going to redirect you to this page, or it's going to basically show this information here. So when I sent this, if I go test test submit. And thank you for your request. This that's what this basically does right here. This uh, print and then you basically you could input the HTML right there. I just created a link and thank you for your request. Click here to return the home page. So basically, whenever I click on this text, it'll redirect me to this home page. And if it fails, it's going to give you an error message that we encountered an error and redirect you from there. So that's basically this is the PHP form. And what we do do is we just save it as whatever one. Uh, Whatever you want to name it as, let's just do test.php. Uh, just end in .php and you should be good. You'll see it right here. It's shown as a PHP document, PHP script. Um, but we don't need that anymore. I do everything in Notepad because I'm old school. 
All right, so basically you want to input some text into your HTML document, which is going to call the PHP script. And this is the form right here. Let me just up this font a little bit. So you'll have this, and it's the form method is going to be post. Action is going to be calling the movie underscore request, or whichever you named it to. In my instance, I named it to movie underscore request, but just specify whatever you're naming it to. And I centered mine because I want it centered on the page. If I just go back here, you see it's centered. And font color is white. If you want it to be black, just replay, put six zeros. It's basically hexadecimal. So you, you can find charts on Google for that. I submit this form. It's going to transmit this data to the next page. And here in the movie show request, which I have right here, this field, you can specify how many rows it's going to be. This right here would be three rows, but if you want this to be longer, you can make it six, ten, however many you want as well as columns that'll uh, increase the size of that. Just play around with that a little bit, tweak it. But the main thing you need is this form right here. Um, this is the most important thing. Um, you don't have to have the center tags and so forth, but this is this is what you're going to want. And then um, this right here, the submit request, you can al also alter that. Um, basically where the input types right here, just change this value to whatever you want it to say. Uh, mine I said submit request, but you can change it to whatever you'd like. Let me create a sample one just because it sounds confusing to me right now. So you have well, I don't know. Let's just title this test. I cannot freaking type today. I swear to God. Okay, so I'm going to create a form. And then end the body. And attempt to spell. Oh my God. I save this as test.htm to my desktop. Um, movie request, so I need to create a new PHP script now. And I can preface this with HTML. Uh, let's make a new body. And let's open up this movie request, which will be PHP. Oh my god, are you serious? Okay, so this will be the PHP script that this is calling. I'm going to save it as movie. Here's movie request.php. I think. Yeah. And save it. Because it's in the same directory. So if you open this up, we should see the form right now. And you can't see the font because it's the wrong color. Input the data and so forth. And submit, and it'll call this. Um, I don't think it works locally. It has to be on a web host, which I'm going to show you right now. Um, once you have those two files created, or your HTML and your PHP, you just all you need to do is upload them to whichever directory you want on your web hosting, um, whether it be to the root of your web hosting or to a, a subdirectory. Just have make sure the PHP file is in the same directory. So right now I have my video listing.htm file which is the web page and the movie request PHP which is in also in the same directory so you, it just uh, references it in the same uh, directory and goes from there and that's really all you need to do to create a form I mean it's, it's really not that complicated there's many other methods you can use Perl scripts all this other shit um, but really this is from my experience this is one of the most simplistic ways to do it um, very little, very little efforts needs to be done. Only problem is that it goes to your spam box, depending on the client you use. But that really isn't that big of a problem. I have another test one. So that's that. Um, that's how you create a email request form.